Hey everyone, Scott from Scott's Moto Adventures here with a pretty large update. I had a great November riding with a few groups of people. I rode with some guys in the Walton PA Discord. And then I rode with the with my local BMW club. During this time, I figured out a way to get my Cardo Spirit HD to work on a Senna mesh network. And I was able to test this out in the real world and it worked. I did need a piece of hardware, which I bought with my own money. It's the Senna Meshport Blue. While it looks like the Plus Mesh Adapter, which was meant for Senna motorcycle devices, like the SMH5, the SMH10, the Meshport Blue is more of an industrial use device. You can pair the mesh port blue to general Bluetooth devices like AirPods, or in my case, off-brand Bluetooth earbuds. There are a few caveats. First, out of the box, you could pair the Spirit HD or any Senna headset through the intercom channel. Unfortunately, word got out and Senna updated the firmware on the mesh port blue. With firmware update 1.2, 3.1, you can no longer pair the mesh port blue to the intercom of a Cardo or even a Senna headset. You did get mesh 2.0 access. I'm still researching the major differences between mesh 1.0 and mesh 2.0. I'm not sure if it was worth removing that intercom feature. What I do is I just pair my mesh port blue to the GPS channel of my Cardo Spirit HD. And then if I want to get phone information, I just pair my, my earbuds to my phone and I use those in my helmet so I can hear directions or calls from my, my device. Hey everyone, Scott from Scott's Moto Adventures back in the garage. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to connect the Senna Mesh Port Blue, this device right here, and it's blue, to the Cardo Spirit HD, which for my modular helmet, that's what I normally use. Then on my adventure helmet, I like to use the Senna Spider, I think it's the ST1. So let's turn that one on first because that one's the easiest. Okay, so that's connected to my phone. That's great. I don't really care. Uh, I turned the mesh intercom on. Okay, so that's on channel one. I've already preset this to channel one using the uh, the desktop app. And on to the next part. Now, with the Cardo here, what I did, I actually reset to factory settings on the Cardo. So my phone will not connect to it and my this will be the first pairing of the Santa Mesh Port Blue to the Cardo. So we're just gonna turn on the Cardo here. Alright, didn't really say anything. So what I like to do is on the Cardo here. Let's see here if you can see that. Hopefully not too many, too much shadow. All right. I don't want phone pairing. That's what I want. I like to do it on to the GPS just so you, you have that channel. GPS connected. What does that mean? This. And I don't know if you heard, but it's an open mesh channel one. So I don't know if you could pick up. Just be scratching on this mic. Let's just move this out of the way here. Let's get the mic in there just a little bit better. Hello. Hello. Check, check. Hey, one, two. One, two. This is over mesh. This is over mesh. And there you have it, everyone. You have 
the capability to do Seno Mesh to Cardo. The Cardo connects to the Seno Mesh port through the GPS channel, not the intercom channel. Then that, this connection will then broadcast to this helmet, to this uh, device here. There you have it. So let's weigh the pros and cons. First pro, it works. I tried this with two different rides, uh, one with my BMW group, where we had like six guys riding around. Um, no issues, no issues at all. And uh, very happy how that worked that day. And then I went with Walton PA up to Emmaus. Uh, so really happy with everything. Um, one thing, another pro is this now gives you the ability to on the fly add a another person so let's say you have a new guy his name's bob bob joined a club joined a discord you're out on a group ride everyone has seen a mesh except for bob so what you do you give bob the uh you let him borrow the mesh port blue and go from there and I mean, it works, you know, that's one of the nice things about it. I know I'm going to be using, um, I'll be using it with my wife's headset. Hers is Senna, but it's going to work pretty well. So the other thing is, if you're not wanting to move up to a Spider or a 20S or, I, I'm sorry, I'm not really too familiar with the higher end Senna's, this will give your headset a lot more life. Um, especially if you have a Cardo. If you have a Senate, it will work the same way, but it all depends on how it's set up. Uh, in all honesty, if you have an SMH 10 or 5, I recommend getting the Plus Mesh. I think that's a better option, but if you find a deal for like 100 bucks, go ahead and pull the trigger and get the, get the uh, Mesh Port Blue. Now, I just mentioned something, price. That is the first con. At $200 for a brand new adapter, I think that's a little steep. Uh, I ended up getting mine for around $160, $170 on Amazon. But here's the thing. You can get a Spider ST1 on sale, same price. So that's con number two. Is it really worth it when there's a product at the same price range the Senna ST1, I like. It's great for riding to and from work. Not that bad. But when you're connecting with, you know, a Bluetooth person, like I have the Senna ST1. My wife just has a Senna whatever built into her built helmet. So what we end up doing is I use the Cardo to Bluetooth in, and that's how I do it. Um, you know, I kind of lose the Bluetooth functionality with the Spider. And I'm not quite sure how much, I mean, I don't, I don't recommend, I wouldn't recommend paying three, 400 bucks for a, you know, Senna 50, 20, 30, 50 S or whatever. I, I still a little looking more into the higher end. It's not in my price range, so I'm not really that interested in it. And then my other and final complaint, and this was more towards Senna in general, the intercom channel removal, that was a little to me it came off a little underhanded um so with the mesh plus or the plus mesh you take your smh5 smh10 you pair it through the intercom well that's how this mesh port blue used to be well people started to find out people went on adv rider and basically blabbed about it and said oh it's so great this is the thing you need this is the universal translator you know and senna senna's on there Senna found out, and when they were upgrading to the Mesh 2.0 network, around firmware update 1.3, 1.31, that disappeared. So I was a little upset about that. I didn't think that was right. Um, took a little bit of functionality away. Now I can't have the phone and intercom on at the same time. I have to have a secondary source for that, which to me, that's no big deal. But to other riders, it might be. And that's another con where you now lose your phone or GPS channel if you're using a Cardo. So, but other than that, um, 
it, I'm very happy with the results. I was going to get rid of it, but I'm going to keep it. If you can find a good deal of someone selling one for like a hundred bucks, pull the trigger, take it. I think you'll be really happy if you do want to convert that over, you know, if you have a Cardo head, Bluetooth headset, or even like a Cardo mesh headset, I'm, you know, that's another way you can do it. But, uh, yeah, you can, I mean, it might just be uh, an option for, for someone that's just looking to try something else and not have to go out and spend oodles of money on a brand new top of the line mesh headset. Um, so I want to thank you for your time. If you like this video, please like, and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. We did it guys. Cardo on a mesh network. I can't believe it.